Hey, hi mate. In this video, we will see how to create an installer zip for custom kernel using any kernel 3. So, first thing first, let's download any kernel template. You can google any kernel and uh, you'll get the any kernel repository. So, you can clone or just simply download the repository as zip. Everything is mentioned on the readme file, so you don't need to search anywhere. You can just simply extract the zip file that you downloaded. Uh, you can extract it anywhere you want. By the way, you can do this in your window or uh, your uh, Android phone as well. It will work. So here I extracted that zip file. And now we have to modify that any kernel dot sh file. By the way, everything, every parameter or variables are mentioned here so you only have to modify this file according to your dis uh, device like in kernel string you can put your name or credit whatever you want the only parameters are necessary is your device name and boot partition block like you see the boot block is uh, predefined here and we have to modify that and your device code name as well so I'm creating for this POCO F1 and the uh, uh, code name for the POCO F phone is Beryllium. By the way, you can get that code name in your phone using get prop command. You can just get prop and grab device to get the code name. And you have to check that ro dot product dot device value. Here is Beryllium, so I will copy paste that yeah so you can get that code name from get prop command and for block you can find in dev partition i mean dev folder in your phone you can just uh, run find slash dev dash name and boot star that's it that and you can use that find command same as i mentioned here if your phone has a uh, AB partitioning as well, you just put it there. Okay, so configuration is completed. Now we have to copy the uh, custom kernel in the any kernel root folder and we have to compress it using zip command. And after compressing, we can just uh, flash this zip file and check if it's working or not. By the way, be before uh, flashing or compressing, let's uh, check the current kernel name and version in our phone. So just adb cell and run cat slash proc slash version to check the current name appended in the kernel. And uh, here you can see the toolchain name and its version as well. So if you haven't compiled a kernel before and want to compile, you can just simply check the toolchain name and version using cat proc version command. So this helps to find out the toolchain. And you can use the same toolchain to compile your stock kernel. Okay, now we'll compress this folder. You can use the zip command to compress this folder and you will get the zip command from the readme file. Now here is the compress command zip dash r9 update any kernel 3 dot zip. Ok now our uh, zip file is ready. Now let us uh, reboot our phone into recovery. I already have TWRP installed in my phone so I will place this file through TWRP by the way you can also flash this file through adb side load as well so no need to copy this file to your uh, phone you can just simply adb side load and this zip file ok now here is my phone booted to recovery 
now let's copy this file to sd card and we'll press through twrp now here while flashing you will see that kernel is sitting up there right that kernel by phosphor and uh, if you have magisk installed then any kernel will also patch the boot image after flashing okay now let's reboot and after boot we will check the kernel local version as well just to check if the kernel is flashed or not okay now the phone is booted let's uh, adb cell and check the kernel version you can use the same cat proc version command now you see the local version is changed so that's all for this video let me know if you have any doubts we will figure it out in next video